been a goal, a benchmark of success in beating the virus, herd immunity, yet people are still turning down a vaccine. Colorado health experts say our state's immunity level now is about 40%, but the goal would be somewhere between 67 and 80%. Our goal is about 70% is what we think we need for this particular virus. It does vary depending on what we're trying to treat, like measles actually needs like 95%. Dr. Michelle Barron, infectious disease expert at UC Health, says this number is different for every virus. And it's literally different depending on how infectious it is and how well people respond to vaccinations or develop a lifetime immunity. But it's hard to put a hard number on what gets us to herd immunity for COVID-19. The target is very elusive and very hypothetical and theoretical. So in other words, it keeps sort of changing and it's difficult to pin our hopes on a target that keeps moving. Nine Health expert Dr. Pyle Coley explains why it's hard to settle on specifics. The reason that it's changing is because the behavior of the virus is changing. So as the transmissibility of the virus increases, the herd immunity threshold or target continues to shift and change. And now you throw in two or three different variants, all with different degrees of transmissibility. You've just made that herd immunity threshold even more complicated. Dr. Coley argues against picking a percentage and just working toward as many vaccinations as possible. My fear is that this idea of herd immunity is going to create more vaccine hesitancy because everyone's going to say, oh, somebody else is going to get it. I'm going to be that 20% that doesn't need to get it and we'll be stuck. We'll be stuck where we are right now. Jennifer Meckles, 9 News.